Hey everybody, this is Ian from the Web Designers Academy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize a pre-made logo to the colors that your client would need. So for example, let's say that you are making a new logo for uh, a client of yours, and this is the client, the Blue Green Evasion. This is currently their color scheme. And so, but they want you to create a logo for them for a specific product that they have. And so you can come here to the toolkit. Let's click on logos. And here we have a bunch of logos that we could pick, but let's actually pick the first one. Let's say that, you know, they want a cool hummingbird logo, but obviously these colors right here, you know, this red and yellow and that green uh, doesn't really match that at all. So I'm going to show you how to actually change all that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to download it and open it in Photoshop. So I'm just going to click on the download PSD file. Now I have my computer set up to automatically open it in Photoshop. Here we go. And the first thing we need to do is we need to get the color schemes that the client wants. So let's come here. I'm going to click on this. I'm just going to drag it on over. I'm going to place it right here and move it off to the side a little bit. So what we need to do is we need to start colorizing the existing logo to these colors. And so it's pretty easy to do. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you can um, auto select. See this right here in Photoshop? You want to make sure that it's set to layer, not group. That way it's going to allow you to actually click on the shape and not the entire group if uh, certain things are grouped. So with auto select set to layer, we can look over here. Now every uh, logo in the toolkit is, is named this way, uh, is named appropriately all the layers. So you can see that this right here is the body. See where it says body right there? And you can turn it on and off to verify. That's the body of the bird. And this is the, it says wing front. So that should be this wing right here. So see how it's in the front? There we go. And of course, uh, this is the back color, which is going to be this. Okay, and then we have the tail. That's the, the right tail and the left tail. Okay, so assuming that you can find the layers that you want to change, now we just need to select the shapes and begin coloring. So let's say that we want to change the body of the bird to the green in their logo. And I'm actually just going to resize this just a little bit because it's quite gigantic. Let's bring it down a little bit like that so we can see it. Okay, so I'm going to click on the body and you can tell it's selected here. I'm going to click over here to get my shape tool. And here it says fill and you can tell that the fill is actually that orangey color. But we click on it and now we could pick a color from here um, but a better way and a faster way is just to click on this right here, a color picker and then come right down here and we can eye drop different colors uh, from their existing color scheme. So let's pick, the, how about this one right here? And click OK. And you see, now the bird is that green color. So let's continue doing this. Let's colorize the front wing. We'll click on this, click on fill, eye drop. And how about we make the front wing this blue right here? OK, here we go. And now the back wing. Uh, wing back here, we see it. Let's click on that and let's try the darker blue. See how that comes out. There we go. And let's take this, which is the back color. You know, once again, I always um, click the eye to sort of give me a visual representation of what it is I'm changing. So with that selected, click on the shape tool and you can see it's the purple color. And how about the red? I wonder if that would look good there. There we go. And we have the little tail here. So let's click on this and let's see, what else could we make the tail color? How about that? There we go. So it's similar to the wing, but that's fine. There we go. And so, and of course we would, uh, you know, change the words to whatever the color would need to be. How about we go like this and we'll eye drop the V there. And of course, let's change, let's, let's mix it up. Let's make this the green, that green right there. And if it's hard to see, you can always zoom in. I, I hit com command and plus to zoom in on my keyboard here. And you can see things in a bit more detail. Let's move it up. And so these two little lines right here, click on the line and you can see that line highlights right here. So let's make it 
Hmm. Let's make it the blue color from over here. So you just want to click on the shape again and the blue color. And let's just do that for all the lines. Good. Come on over here. I'll drag this along. And here's this line. And our last line will be right here. There we have it. So let's zoom out. So there we go. Now, of course, you can mix up the colors if you didn't like these, but um, we completely changed the logo from the original colors to ones that match what the client currently uses. It's as easy as that.